On Thursday night, Motherwell got knocked out of the Europa League in the third qualifying round at the hands of Israeli opponents, Hapoel Beersheva. I honestly do not know what to say. I mean, I said in my preview, I expected us to get beat. Or, well, certainly didn't expect us to go through. But here's my breakdown of the Motherwell performance. After such an eventful stream, well over 5,000 views, which is another fantastic effort. And thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant. It was a good night. We covered all the four teams that were still competing for Scotland and Europe. Two got knocked out, two are still through. It's just a shame that due to a lack of technological brilliance uh, that we couldn't do it as as well as we really would have liked. But I would like to thank Kobe and Stephen for coming on and uh, for me it was just a really good stream. And at one point we hit a peak of over 530 people, which is a record on the channel. And yeah, once again, brilliant. So uh, yeah, we like to start on a positive, but now let's just work our way down into the mire of a 3-0 defeat. It was agonising to say the least. Now to begin with, of course, we didn't know much about Hapoel Beersheva. I mean, yeah, you can go off video clips and see how well they've played in certain games and see their league standings and their form. But you never really know what you're going to get in Europe. Like, they could be a completely different side to what you've actually researched and you just do not know what's going to happen. I expected us to be parking the bus and try and hit them on the counter-attack. But... To, to our credit, we took the game to them in a wee bit. It took us about 20 minutes to actually figure out really what we were up against. And I believed after after 20 minutes, we had a chance of winning the game. Hapo El Beersheva were no great shakes. And no, no, there was no pun intended there. In my preview, I sort of built up Hapo El Beersheva to be a lot better than what they turned out to actually be. Yes, they still had a few good players. Yes, they still won the game 3-0. However, I believe on a different day... Here's here's the cliché. If we had them at home, I believe we could have won that game. Well, for a start, it's 25 degrees over there. And, well, it probably still is 25 degrees. And it's 23.37 on Thursday night. I said before the game, if we don't have a lead to protect at half-time... I didn't believe we would have any chance of winning the game. And, okay, Chris Long had a great chance. Uh, it was deflected and saved, uh, and it sort of spun away from the goal. And Tony Watt, if he had any solid connection, just before they scored, uh, it could have been 1-0. It should have been 1-0. We, we should have been winning before... Uh, Hapoel Beersheva scored. Of course, at 0-0, they had a chance as well. Gallagher allowed the boy inside, and he basically ran. And it was it was a tight angle, but Carson still made a good save. We conceded a silly free kick. Chris Long gave the foul away, and then the, in the resulting free kick, the boys allowed in. I think it's between O'Donnell and Gallagher. Uh, my memory is very hazy because I struggled to watch the game. Like the stream I was watching was so bad. It was. Honestly, horrendous. The boy was allowed in uh, to put the ball in the back of the net. And we were up against it from there, really. In the second half, I mean, we were still in the game. And I, I will maintain that we were in the game until the 71st minute. Unfortunately, Gallagher uh, got his second yellow. And can I be honest here? From one human being to several others. I don't believe Declan Gallagher deserved any of the stick that he got tonight on social media. Uh, I mean, Bevis Mugabe got sent off against Coleraine and jeopardised our chance of getting through to the next round. And nothing was said. Gallagher gets sent off and concedes a penalty. Our seventh penalty we have conceded in our last five European matches. It's got to be a record, eh? So then Hapoel Beersheva scored to make it 2-0. And it's another goal from a dead ball situation. I mean, the the original 
set play was actually a free kick from outside the box. And then the ball swung in and then Declan Gallagher fails the boy uh, from a, a second ball. And that's just one of these ones where, I mean, what can you do? Uh, I, I really feel sorry for him. And 2-0, game's over. It, it is over. We, we take off a couple of our uh, key players to try and sort of try and start the uh, rest period early uh, for the Rangers game on Sunday and then they go and score a third throw, and it's the first time we've actually conceded from open play in Europe and it's our only one we've conceded from open play I mean what, what, I, again I say what can you do I would love to sit and think that we deserve to win the game I mean I, I do believe we still had a chance up until we got the man sent off we were punished for our mistakes and you can't, you just can't make these sort of mistakes in Europe. And we're up against a team that's fully experienced uh, in playing European football. This team, as I said in the preview, they've got they've got pedigree. I mean, not much pedigree, but they've still got enough experience uh, over the years to actually be like, yeah, these guys are regulars, and we are not. That we are that oddball that every nation has every season that all of a sudden gets a one-off run in Europe. If you'd offered me at the start of the season, look, you'll get through to the third qualifying round, I'd have happily taken it. Motherwell have earned nearly 800,000 euros from this European trip alone, which is a massive bonus. And this YouTube channel has benefited greatly from European football content. I had a fantastic taster. The Motherwell team had a taster of what could come. If we get our act together this season and now go on and finish in the top four or top three and go on to have a successful season, then that's all I can ever ask for. But uh, yeah, league business back on Sunday. Rangers at home. I'll be doing a video on Saturday for that. And uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 3-0, uh, I mean, when you're chasing the game like that, in, in those conditions, I've got no complaints. As for any Hapoel Beersheva fans out there that are watching this video and have got to the end of this, thanks for coming along. Shalom. Uh, all the best against Victoria Pilsen. I think you'll need it. Uh, I think they will ultimately find their way to the group stages. But then again, you're the home side in that tie. Uh, you could spring a surprise. But yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care. And Declan, if, if you're watching this video, head up mate. We all have those days.